So now mm-hmm. we, we we're going to talk about pork today. Hey, and right. all of that, yeah. all of that divine swine. Um, <laughs> swine. Charlie, what is your favorite favorite cuts of pork when we're talking about grilling, smoking, and all the above? So I I like to I I'm normally modest. I want to start off by saying that. But I, I, I'm a little bullish in my ability, I feel, to, uh, to do spare ribs. Um, I tried and I failed so many times. I feel like God only pushed me uh, upwards. Um, so the spare rib, the full spare rib, I like to cut the tip off and mm-hmm. I like to pull the membrane off. Mm-hmm. And, I, I, you know, I go back and forth, though. I go back and forth if I want to do it, you know, direct or you know, fully indirect on a smoker or yeah. whatever. You know, I, yeah. I, I teeter totter with that. I never know which one There's I want to just a stick huge with. Love for a nice grilled rib, bro. Like, I, it never I, goes away. Never oh, goes away. Never goes away. The the way it pulls back is just is different from just the offset and low and slow. Mm-hmm. I, you get you get a different, totally different texture. Mm-hmm. But but my thing is the spare rib is versatile. I say that because even if you don't cook outside, you're not a backyard cook, you're not a professional cook. Um, I know some people would, let's say this, spare ribs are so cool. That is a a really hot item on a Chinese menu. I'm just saying. Spare ribs (laughs) are awesome. You don't see baby backs on there. No, No. you see spare ribs. (laughs) Clip that. That is freaking (laughs) perfect. That is a clip right there. I agree with you. Uh, uh, the spare is, is super versatile, and uh, you know me personally. If if I'm going to do ribs, uh, I do like the St. Louis cut, uh, but you can do so much with that tip. You know, mm-hmm. uh, where I'm from, rib tips is is a thing all its own. Uh, typically, especially if you were at a barbecue joint, uh, they were probably doing eighty percent rib tips. Dude. Twenty percent ribs. Wow. I average forty pounds of tips a week. That's yeah. Wow. A week. A week. I run through at least almost a full box a week. A full box is on average forty to fifty six pounds. Like it's Man. it's insane. Yeah, like I said, where I'm from, tips is where it's at. You, mm-hmm. you have a few people who come and get rack of ribs or half yep. racks, half slab, whatever. But barbecue where I'm from is tips. Tips. People are there for getting their fingers dirty. Oh, yeah, man. You know, getting, I between, do that. getting between all yeah. that gristle and mm-hmm. you know, all that meat. I, I never will understand it. And I don't care to understand it anymore. Because I, think I, I think I do. I think I do. Because um, let's say if you're eating the, the, the rib off the bone, um, you know, the regular rib. Some people have a problem with biting the rib because they, they might feel like it gives a little you know, too much resistance. I don't know. Might mess up their teeth. I don't know. Some people don't, you know, cook their ribs really tender. Sorry. <laughs> Just buy yeah. with the teeth. So maybe they like the rib tip because they just know consistently from the past, it has always been something that doesn't cause them to like have to get a toothpick for the rest of the evening and fish something out their tooth. I don't know. I'm that, thinking I mean, it, it. It's very possible. And you also have uh, people um, who like to suck on gnawn bones. It's true. Ooh, that, that's too. a thing. That is still a thing. That yeah. is still a thing. Oh man! Yeah. In front of other people too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, man. That'd be <laughs> no shame. No shame sure. at all. At no shame. <laughs> Grease all on their ears. The whole shot, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but I tell you what, man. Um, you know, I've even seen people will take the tip and smoke it for a bit chop it up and then throw it like in a pot of beans or something yeah and, and to me man that that is a, a genius way to uh have something on the side along with with your ribs oh yeah and so and, what uh, i'm actually about to start doing is because sometimes i have you know little tidbits a wing here a rib there or something like and i save this stuff so it's like i'm just gonna take all this stuff put it in some stock just boil it down Grab me some some miso ramen and make barbecue ramen, and it's gonna have a ton of built-in Ooh, protein man. already in it. You got your chicken, mm-hmm. you got your ribs, you got your rib tip. Like you never know what's gonna come out of this pie, but it's gonna be good oh, over man. some noodles. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Black Smoke Barbecue Podcast channel. 
For the full video, click the link in the description below.